Hello, today we're going to learn how to forward emails through the Microsoft Outlook 2010 mail client. The first thing you need to do when you open up Microsoft Outlook is go to the upper left hand corner and select File. It will automatically def defer to the Info tab, which is this screen that we currently see here. Um, once you're in the Info tab, you want to make sure that you have selected the appropriate email account that you wish to forward your emails from and you want to select manage rules and alerts. Once you've selected that you see we get a new box open here with rules. Um, these rules can be used for forwarding email, for putting certain email addresses into certain folders in your email. There's a lot of functionality here but for our purposes today we're only going to look at forwarding emails. Now again, if you need to change that email address, you don't want it to go to this one, you want it to go to a different account, there is a drop down here where you can apply this to whatever other email account you have associated with this version of Outlook client. So the first thing you need to do is select the new rule option. <clears throat> As you can see, this opens a new box and we want to start from a blank rule. Um, start, starting from a blank rule, we want to select the first option, we're going to apply this to all messages you receive. After you've selected that, it does give you a list of conditions that you can choose from if you so wish. Um, there are a lot of options here if, you, if there are certain messages you want to go to one place as opposed to another. Um, for our purposes today, though, we don't need to do the, any of these conditions. We're just going to click Next. You'll get a warning box that it applies to every message you receive and asks you to confirm that, and you just want to select yes. Now, after you've gone through your conditions, um, if you associate any, um, you'll be brought to the next action page, and you want to select forward it to people or public group. Now, you can see that people or public group down here is located in blue. This is a hyperlink, and you want to select it. <clears throat> this will automatically bring up the global address list that is associated with your account if there is one associated with your account. Since I'm on my exchange email, it's pulling up the master global list for Florida State. <coughs> now, you can search for an email or a name through this address book, global list address book feature, or you can go down to the tool, the two box, and insert whatever email you're trying to forward your emails to and then you want to select OK. Now you can notice that the People or Public Group hyperlink has been changed to forwarding it to my name because that is what is associated with that email address that I typed in. I'm going to select Next. Again, we have exceptions and conditions if you would like. You can put these on. For us today, we're not going to. We're going to select Finish. Now you can see uh, under our Rules panel, we have um, listed by my name um, the new rule of forwarding all emails. This has been Aiden Sizemore with How to Forward Emails within Microsoft Outlook 2010.